We must find that woman. May I have a cigarette, my darling? Yes, of course, my darling. There, my love. Thank you. Yes, sir. Scotch on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Say, uh, I'm looking for my uncle, Sir Charles Litton. <coughs> Darling, may I get you some water? <coughs> Hold your hands over your head. Yes, my darling, and bend forward. <coughs> oh, darling, I'm sorry. Darling. Are you all right? You all right, my darling? <coughs> hmm? What? <coughs> my darling? <coughs> yes, darling. I assure you, Your Highness, your guests will be caused no embarrassment whatsoever. They will not even be aware that my men are present in their disguises. In that case, you have my permission. Your Highness, mark my words. If Sir Charles is foolish enough to attempt to steal your diamond tonight, you will be witness to the capture of the notorious Falcon. Gentlemen. to sell these balloons? Good morning. Good morning. I'm the game warden. Do you have a hunting license? Hunting license? He 
was shooting crows. <laughs> he was disguised as a hunter in order to watch the Bunnell house. <laughs> Give me ten men like Clouseau, and I could destroy the world. Where is he now? I don't know. After I got his release, he got a phone call. He ran out of his office saying he had an important lead that would crack the case. This case is already so full of cracks, I guess one more won't make any difference. <laughs> Crosswell? Yes, Commissioner? I just cut off my thumb. Mm -hmm. Was only doing my duty. And I'm right, you will see. Maria Gambrelli is not a murderer. Hey, the Pope. There is something personal in this. Yes. Deeply personal. I hate you. <laughs> Every little bit of you. Now get out! You want me to leave? You are making a terrible mistake. If Maria Gambrelli is not a murderer, and I say she is not, you are sending an innocent girl to the guillotine. Excuse me, Francois. And another thing! But if only for the sake of discussion, what if you are wrong and Clouseau a fool, a complete and utter fool. <laughs> I'd be ruined. <laughs> it's something to consider. Francois? Yes, Commissioner? Could you please call for a doctor? Are you ill? I seem to have stabbed myself with a letter opener. In with the good. Out with the bad air. In with the good. Ah. In. Don't look, Fiona. Ah. Ah. And now, the kiss of life. No need to thank me. Thank you. For saving your life. Someone I was hit on the head. Yes. You have received a bim upon the head. Bim? What? You said bim. Yes, I know that. It is a large bim. <laughs> you could receive the concussion from such a bim. Allow me to assist you. No! I'm all right. I'm fine. Never better. Just a little, a little shaky. Probably the shock of, I mean, the surprise of seeing you here again today. <laughs> well, and you, my friend, can count on me to do everything in my power to get you out of this plaza. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, I know how you feel. Hmm? I had. Well. <laughs> Are you all 
right, former chief inspector. Yes. Yes. I'm perfectly. All right. See? <laughs> One moment, and I will have you extracted. I'm fine. <laughs> I am perfect. Every day, and in every way, I'm getting better and better. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that this is just not your day, my friend. But it is my day. <laughs> it is my friend. After three long, terrible years, it is at last my day. I will not permit, repeat, not permit anything. Repeat anything to spoil it. Now, I will walk you to the gate, and I will kiss you goodbye, and you will drive off in your new car, which should rightfully be mine. And then I will have my interview with the Sanity Commission, and they will set me free. And then I will kill you. Kill you! Once more! Kill you! Start the car! Kill! 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 Kill you! Kill! Oh. Uh, how much did they get? Millions. Here's the report. All right, uh, that will be all, Francois. Thank you. Does your dear go back? No. Oh. Yeah, it's dear again. <laughs> I thought you said your dear did not bite. That is not my talk. City Ordinance 132R prohibits the begging. How do you know so much about uh, city ordinances? What sort of stupid question is that? Are you blind? Yes. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Well, you happen to be talking to a police officer. And because I expect to be transferred back to the detective division at any moment, <clears throat> I will let you up this time with just a warning. Uh, thank you, Monsieur Argent. But you must get yourself a proper license. First thing tomorrow. Try to do something about your filthy monkey. Idiot! How was I to know he was the bank manager? How were you to know the bank was being robbed? That is correct. What is correct? I did not know the bank was being robbed because I was engaged in my sworn duty as a police officer. You didn't even arrest the old beggar. There was some question as to whether the beggar or his minky was breaking the law. Minky? What? You said minky. That is correct, yes. Chimpanzee minky. So I left them both off with a warning. The beggar was the lookout man for the gang. That is impossible. Why? He was blind. How can a blind man be a lookout? How can an idiot be a policeman? Answer me that! It's very simple. All he has to do is enlist. Shut up! I see. <laughs> Sir. Art? It's a birthday gift from my wife. Most realistic. <laughs> The shower of Lugash. <laughs> we are much the same, the chief and I. But of course, Keto, all great detectives have one thing in common, and you know what that is? Instinct. That's a rare ability to know immediately without having to stop and reason. And in my business, it can easily mean the difference between life and death. All right, I'll get it. Ah, thank you. Yes, that split-second timing, when instinct tells you that... Ha! Ah! The wave of assassination. 
an opposition spokesman has categorically denied them. Oh. And what seems to have stopped? Probably due to the explosion. You need a new flint. Well, Chief Inspector, until we meet again and the case is so bad. Solvex, an idiot. <sighs> Don't just stand there, idiot. Call a doctor and then help me find my doze. It is my guess that you will find it is English wax. Why? Because your thief is an Englishman. Uh, how do you know that? It is my business to know that. He is Sir Charles Phantom, the notorious Lytton. The Phantom? Yes, one and the same. It is calling card. <clears throat> Four years ago, Sir Charles suddenly vanished. It was rumored throughout the underworld that given up his life of crime, but my instinct told me he would not remain in hiding for long. Four years is not long. Time is not the issue here. This glove is the issue here. And it signifies the phantom is up to his old tricks. But I will catch him. I'll root him out. It won't be easy. He's a master of disguise. And undoubtedly has gone back into hiding until the heat is off. And he's on his way to Gstad. Stad? Yes. Today, a paradise in the Swiss Alps. <laughs> Tomorrow, a wasteland. Compared to Cluso, Attila the Hun was a Red Cross volunteer. Oh, careful! Huh? I put the real one in the bottom drawer. See? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Do you know the way to the Palace Hotel? Yes. Scusi, signor. Hmm? Yeah, take your coat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your gloves? Your gloves. Your hat? Hmm. Grazie, signor. Prego. Monsieur Gadbois? <laughs> yes, this is Monsieur Gadbois. Who is that speaking? Don't you know? <laughs> Can't you guess? I'll give you a clue. This is the man who hates you. This is the man who, more than anything else in the world, would like to see you dead and buried. Are you the head waiter that works at the little bistro on the Rue des Beaux-Arts? No! This is Chief Inspector Dreyfus! Idiot! <laughs> well, as you can see, I've got the whole case buttoned up. Everything is sewn up. This is Sir Charles Phantom, the famous Pink Lytton, who stole the... What did you say? He was, he was going to kill us, did you? Well, if you're going to persuade him to change his mind. You're joking, of course. No. You're going to kill me as well? With pleasure. Is there anything I can do that will make you change your mind? Uh, well, there is nothing that I can think of. Supposing that I thought of something. Hmm. For instance? Well, uh, for instance, supposing I told you that your fly was undone? By a remarkable coincidence, so is yours. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> ah! 
I see you are familiar with the open fly ploy. <laughs> well, so am I. Oh, you also know the falling on the bed with the arm on the floor ploy. <laughs> Very interesting. He's been shot dead, you idiot. Don't you call me an idiot. What? Who's <laughs> Out of ammunition. He's out of his mind. That's what he's out of. <laughs> I kill him! I kill him! Monsieur, kill you! <laughs> Getting smaller every day. I never, my little girl, they grow down in the street. Yes? It's special delivery. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm a little sharp. Forget it. Special delivery, a burn. Were you expecting one? A burn? Your car's at the entrance, Inspector. Uh, when he was my assistant, he was a very good policeman with a bright future. <laughs> but then he was assigned to Cluzo. Oh, now, 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 Charles. All oh, that's in the past. <laughs> yes, of course. Tomorrow morning, when they plant him six feet deep and shovel in the dirt, <laughs> I shall be truly free. <laughs> Unless he's figured out a way to come back from the dead. <laughs> Nothing that anyone does or says about him will ever make any difference again. <laughs> Shall we do some work? Well, that reminds me. What is it? Uh, the chief thinks that you should give the eulogy. The what? Uh, the tribute. Me? You knew him intimately. I hated him intimately. But you're the expert who is going to track down his murderers. <laughs> I'm the expert who would love to, to kiss his murderers. Don't you understand? Now, now, the PR people love the angle. Sacrilege. I won't do it. Politics. No. I'm a good Catholic. So is the chief's wife. I don't care. What's she got to do with it? She wrote the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Honored guests, dear friends, <clears throat> we are gathered here to say goodbye to a, uh, a great man. <laughs> Not only was he a model police officer, a brilliant detective, admired and respected by his fellow officers and all those who were fortunate enough, enough, enough to know him. He was, above all else, 
a modest man. <laughs> His kind will not pass this way again, and our loss is surely heaven's gain. Present arms. Fire. Fire. A quoi je vous donne en cause de votre fonte miséricordiam. Doctor Sum non Richard Vichem, qui tu en gotis tu volontate ut secus iun fia fius di filius tomis, itasus de coris per Christum Domium nostrum. Amen. Requiem eternam donai Domini, et tu perpetuo sed requies cantini pace. Amen. En cum sabot de funto misericordiam. Amen. familiar. Why? Chief Inspector Dreyfus lives here. Oh, I think he has received the fend. Wake up, Chief Inspector. Wake up. 
Chief Inspector. Hello. Are you in there, Chief Inspector? Hello. There's no reply. It's no use. I think we will have to go to Hong Kong without him. Mm -hmm. Ah, at last. My own house, my own swimming pool. My own 38, 23, 38. Telegram. <laughs> Read it to me. Dear Chief Commissioner, happy birthday. Hope to enjoy the 3,000 pounds of jello. 3,000 pounds of jello? Hmm. That must be some mistake. <laughs> Where would I put 3,000 pounds of jello? Besides, only Cluzo would be stupid enough to send me 3,000 pounds of jello. <laughs> Yes. Ah! Hello. Yes. Do you have for me the massage? Oh. You want a massage, eh? If you have one for me, yes. Yeah. Why don't you try Tokyo a little, the end of the block? Ask for Passion Flower Shirley, the Yokohama butterfly. And why should I do that? Well, you want a massage, don't you? Yes, but I want it from you. Sir, I don't give massages. But you gave me one only this morning. See, you're mistaken. Look, don't you try the tricks anglais with me, monsieur. I received the massage this morning from Inspector Quimland of the Art of Scotland. The massage! And it was you that gave it to me. Message! What? You mean message! Look, I know what I mean, you lunatic! Now, do you or do you not have for me the massage? No, sir. For you, there is no massage. Grasmo Hotel? Good evening. Oh. He just went up to his room. I'll ring. Thank you. Yes, this is Chief Inspector Cluzer. Turn your bed down, sir. <coughs> yes, you were saying? What was that you were saying? <laughs> Your massage! Yes, yeah. here. 